Hello, welcome to Sri Maths. Today we are going to study arithmetic mean of grouped data standard 10th. 10th standard. That is, we group this data, we group this data as marks as different classes. Classes. Then, number of students as frequencies. F5. Then, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 20 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. Then, number of students, 8, 16, 36, 34, and 6. Then, there are three methods for finding the arithmetic mean. First method. First we are going to find arithmetic mean by direct method. Arithmetic mean by direct method. Arithmetic mean of grouped data. Then classes marks obtained by 100 students. That is number of students 8. 8 students e limit learn mark 0 to 10. 10 to 20. I limit like it taken 16 students, 20 to 30, 36 students, 30 to 40, 34 students, 40 to 50 marks here, 6 students, total 100 students, 100 students in the mark obtained as a group A they corner, then find the arithmetic mean of this grouped data, then classify them like this, then marks obtained different classes. Different categories 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, and 40 to 50. The number of students written as frequencies F5 that is 8, 16, 36, 34, 30, and 6. Then direct method arithmetic mean. Formula for finding direct method of arithmetic mean is x bar equal to sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi where sigma fi means a total frequency adding all this sigma fi means a total frequency the xi is the mid value of class interval mid value of class interval then we have to find out this xi and next fi xi column then x bar equal to direct method x bar equal to sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi where fi Sigma Fi means the sum of Fi values and the direct method and direct method for arithmetic mean. Direct method for arithmetic mean. Then we have to find out Xi values of Xi. Then values of Xi. Then for finding the value of xi, first class limit is 0 to 10. This is the lower limit and this is the upper limit. Adding these two, 0 plus 10 divided by 2, we get 10 by 2 equal to 5. That is first xi value. Next class interval, next xi value and 10 to 20, that is lower limit 10, upper limit 20. That is 
adding these two and dividing by 2 we get a xi value 30 by 2 that is 15 next xi value is 15 then finding other xi values we can find an easy method here the class width 20 to 30 difference between 30 and 20 class size is class size is 10 then 10 to 20 difference between 20 and 10 class size is 10 it is class width adding 10 to each of this we get it 5 plus 10 15 15 plus 10 25 25 plus 10 35 35 plus 10 45 or add these two and divide by 2 20 plus 30 by 2 50 by 2 25 30 plus 40 by 2 70 by 2 35 40 plus 50 by 2 that is 90 by 2 that is 45 then for finding this fi xi we have to find out the column fi we have fi and xi fi xi fi xi that is first class with the class classes different classes mass obtained 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 then number of students as fi frequencies 8 16 36 34 and 6 then for finding the xi value first class interval is 0 plus 10 lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2 0 plus 10 by 2 that is 10 by, so 10 by 2 equal to 5 next class with the class class interval 10 to 20 lower limit upper limit 10 plus 20 divided by 2 that is 30 by 2 15 next 20 plus 30 by 2 25 50 by 2 25 30 plus 40 by 2 50 30 plus 40 70 70 by 2 35 40 plus 50 that is 90 by 2 45 or another way easy method 5 5 plus 10 15 15 plus 10 25 25 plus 10 35 35 plus 10 45 since the class width is 10 adding 10 to each value we get all x size first x size and do it next f5 xi for finding direct method arithmetic mean x bar equal to sigma fi xi by sigma fi sigma fi means the sum of frequencies that is sigma fi is total of this 6 plus 34 plus 36 plus 16 plus 8 100 sigma fi is 100 then fi xi, fi xi means add, multiplying these two columns, 8 into 5, 8 into 5, 40, next 16 into 15, 240, then 25 into 36, 35 into 34 35 into 34 1190 next 45 into 6 then We have to find the sigma fi xi. For finding sigma fi xi, add these terms all fi xi's. That is equal to 0.
2640 sigma fi xi. Then by direct method, arithmetic mean x bar equal to sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi, sigma fi xi 2640 divided by sigma fi total frequency 100 is equal to 26.40 or dividing by 100 to place the left load decimal point then once more find the arithmetic mean for the grouped data then direct method first method is direct method direct method x bar equal to x bar x bar equal to sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi sigma fi total frequencies that is adding this all this we get hundreds then we have to find the xi value xi value for finding the xi value xi then first take the first class interval 0 to 10 then a lower limit to 0 upper limit to 10 0 plus 10 divided by 2 that is 10 by 2 equal to 5 first xi value is 5 Next class is 10 to 20 lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2. 10 plus 20 divided by 2 that is 30 by 2 equal to 15. Yes. Next xi value is 15. Then 20 plus 30 50 by 2 that is 25. 30 plus 40, 30 plus 40, 70 by 2, that is 35. 40 plus 50, 90 divided by 2, that is 45. Or, we can easily find this xi values, then class width or class size is 10. For finding the class size, difference between lower limit and upper limit, 30 minus 20, 10. 20, 20, 20 minus 10, 10, 40 to 50, difference 10, therefore class size is 10, then writing first xi value, then adding 10 to the 5 plus 10, 15, 15 plus 10, 25, 25 plus 10, 35, or 35 plus 10, 45, or another way, adding these two, 0 plus 10 by 2. 10 plus 20 divided by 2. 20 plus 30 divided by 2. 30 plus 40 divided by 2. 40 plus 50 divided by 2. Then, Fi Xi. For finding sigma Fi Xi, we have to find each Fi Xi. Fi cola, Xi cola. Xi means mid value of the class interval, mid value. For finding the mid value, adding lower limit and upper limit and dividing it by 2. The mid value of class interval. And Fi Xi, that is 8 into 5, 40. 15 into 16. forty and hundred then thirty four into thirty five one thousand one hundred and ninety then six into forty five six into forty five 70. For finding the sigma fi xi, sigma fi xi, 
add all this fi xi times then 0 0 0 0 0 0 2640 that is arithmetic mean x bar equal to sigma fi xi by sigma fi sigma fi xi we find this 2640 divided by sigma fi is total frequency is 100 that's equal to 26.40 for dividing any value by 100, we have to 2 place left at decimal point. Once more, this is direct method for finding arithmetic mean x bar equal to sigma fi xi by sigma fi. That for finding xi that is mid, mid value of the class interval. 0 plus 10 divided by is 10 by 2 5 20 plus 10 30 by 2 15 20 plus 30 50 by 2 25 35 45 and sigma fi is adding all this 8 plus 16 plus 36 plus 34 plus 6 that is equal to 100 total frequency then fi into xi fi into xi that is multiplying all this 8 into fi into xi this 8 into 5 40 this to 40 and this And hundred then thirty four into thirty five one thousand one hundred and ninety. It is forty five into six two seventy. For finding six, we have the formula direct method arithmetic mean x bar equal to sigma fi xi by sigma fi for finding sigma fi xi then add all these values in fi xi column sum so sigma fi xi means uh, sum of all fi xi terms that is zero. Two thousand six hundred and forty. Then sigma fi xi and write the value. Substituting sigma fi xi and sigma fi sigma fi xi. Two thousand six hundred and forty divided by sigma fi that is hundred. So equal to twenty six plus twenty six two thousand six hundred and forty that is twenty divided by hundred twenty six point four zero. 26.40 Second method Assumed mean method First method and direct method Second method Assumed mean method There are three methods for finding arithmetic mean Assumed mean method assumed mean method x bar equal to a plus sigma fi di divided by sigma fi where a is the assumed mean assumed mean sigma fi total frequency Then, 
for finding x we have studied then 0 plus 10 by 2 xi is 5 10 plus 20 30 30 by 2 15 25 35 45 then d d equal to xi minus a then we can take the any x value as a assumed value i have taken 25 as assumed value assumed value assumed mean is 25 a is 25 yeah assumed mean a is 25 we can take any x value as assumed mean a is 25 then the formula for finding arithmetic mean by assumed mean method is x bar equal to a plus sigma fi di by sigma fi a equal to a is the assumed mean where a is assumed mean here i have taken assumed mean as 25 then and d equal to xi minus a d equal to d equal to xi minus a di xi minus a xi minus a that is 5 minus 25 minus 20 15 minus 25 minus 10 25 minus 25 0 35 minus 25 10. 45 minus 25 20 then we got xi that is we find it di equal to xi minus a xi minus a for first send here di equal to xi minus a here xi is 5 assumed mean a means assumed mean 5 minus 25 minus 20 15 minus 25 minus 10 25 minus 25 0 35 minus 25 10 45 minus 25 20 here we find di for finding di which xi minus assumed mean xi minus assumed mean Say minus assumed to me. That is 5 minus 25 minus 20. 15 minus 25. 15 minus 25 minus 10. 25 minus 25 0. 35 minus 25 10. 45 minus 25 20. Then we have to find out F5 di. For finding sigma F5 di, find out a column, write a column F5 di. This fi is this, F di is this. fi di, that is fi di. 8 into minus 20, that is minus 160. 16 into minus 10, that is minus 160. 36 into 0, 0. 34 into 10, 340. 6 into 20, 120. Then, Assumed mean method namukka arithmetic mean kaana. Grouping the negative terms. Minus 320. Then grouping the positive terms adding. 460. Then sigma fi di equal to sum of these two. Negative 320 plus 460. Yeah. Uh, greater number and smaller number subtract it. Greater number and the sign code kwa. That is 140. Wait on the sign positive. Sigma fi is a plus 16 plus 36 plus 34 plus 600. Then by assumed mean method, arithmetic mean x bar equal to a plus sigma fi di divided by sigma fi where 
ए ईस द अस्यूम्ड मीन अस्यूम्ड मीन इवे ट्वेंटी फाइव अस्यूम्ड मीन ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वन हंड्रड्ड आ फोटी डिवैड बै हंड्रड्ड इट्स ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस वन पॉइंट फोर सीरो ईक्वल टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट फोर सीरो बै अस्यूमड मीन मेथड एक्स बार अरथमेटिक मीन एक्स बार ईक्वल टू ए प्लस सिग्मा एफ डि बै सिग्मा एफ डि ईक्वल टू फोर फैंडिंग बै डि द फोम लाइस एक्स मैनस ए ए ईस द अस्यूमड मीन वी क्या टेक एनी एक्स वैल्यू आस अस्यूमड मीन ऐ हाव टेक आस अस्यूमड मीन ए आस ट्वेंटी फाइव देन फैंडिंग द एक्स वैल्यू यू आर स्टडी adding this to and dividing by 2 0 plus 10 by 2 5 10 plus 20 by 2 15 20 plus 30 by 2 25 30 30 plus 40 by 2 35 40 plus 50 by 2 45 then di equal to xi minus assumed mean that is di column fill cheyana डी ऐल फिलेवते एक्स ए कु फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी नेक्स्ट इन इन एक्स ऐसी फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन माइनस ए फिफ्टीन माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस टेन ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव सीरों नेक्स्ट ई इतने एक्स लिमिटी फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी फाइव टेन फोर्टी फाइव माइनस तेरटी फाइव ट्वेंटी देन एफ डि एफ इंटू डि एंटू माइनस ट्वेंटी माइनस वन सिक्सटी सिक्सटीन इंटू माइनस टेन माइनस वन सिक्सटी तेटी सिक्स इंटू सीरों सीरों तेटी फोर इंटू टेन थ्री फोरटी सिक्स इंटू ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी देन फोर फैंडिंग एफ सिक्मा एफ डि टू कालकुलेट दि सम देन Grouping negative, that is minus 160 plus minus 160 minus 320. Then 340 plus 120, 460. Then opposite signs subtract it. Greater number the sign would go 140 sigma fi 100. Yeah, we have taken assumed the mean as yes, 25. 25 plus sigma fi di 140 divided by 100. This twenty five plus one point four zero. That is twenty six point four zero. Next, assume the mean method once more. X bar equal to a plus sigma f i d i by sigma f i. They are di equal to x i minus a a assumed mean assumed mean method assumed mean then sigma f i sum of frequencies and it d d x i minus a then x i we have studied. x i mid value of this that is 0 plus 10 by 2 5 10 plus 20 by 2 15 20 plus 30 by 2 25 35 and 45 then d i equal to x i minus a x i minus a Then a here I have taken the assumed mean a as twenty five. A equal to twenty five. Then for writing x i minus a for finding each value each term, where x i is x i is five five minus twenty five that is minus twenty d i. Next value is x i value is fifteen fifteen minus a fifteen minus a x i minus ए डि एक्सई मैनस ए एक्स वैल्यू फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन मैनस अस्यूमड मीन ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट मैन टेन ट्वेंटी फाइव मैनस ट्वेंटी फाइव सीरों 
35 minus 25, 10. 45 minus 25, 20. Then, we have to find out Fi di and find the sum. For finding Fi di, multiply Fi di. Then, Fi di, Fi equal either 8 minus 20. Fi into di minus 160. 8 minus 10. 16 into minus 10, that is minus 160. 36 into 0. 0. 34 into 10, 340. 6 into 20, 120. Assume the mean method in the formula I would have first. X bar equal to A plus sigma Fi di divided by sigma Fi. A assumed mean di equal to xi minus a sigma s f total frequency then sigma f i sigma f i equal to 8 plus 20, 16 plus 36 plus 34 plus 6, that is 100. Then, looping negative, negative 160, negative 160, 320. Then, negative sign would go. Positive on the end of the idea. 460. Then, sigma fi di equal to negative 320 plus 460. And the opposite sign and the greater number is smaller number minus the greater number sign could call that is 460 minus 320 140. Greater under sign positive positive southern and are And next here the formula is x bar assumed to mean method a plus sigma fi di divided by sigma fi assumed mean we have taken assumed mean a as 25 a equal to 25 this yes, 25 plus sigma fi di is 140 divided by 100 equal to 25 plus 1.40 that's equal to 26.40 And the third method for arithmetic mean is deviation method. Deviation method. Deviation method. Deviation method. Deviation method. X bar equal to A plus sigma fi ui divided by sigma fi into h here a will padichu assumed mean assumed mean ui equal to ui equal to xi minus a by h a assumed mean x i number h class size for class width then we can find our class 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 f i then x i yeah, to you have studied for writing x i that is 5 15 25 35 and 45 and adding these two and divided by 2 so raw plus 10 by 2 5 20 plus 10 by 2 15 20 plus 30 by 2 
25 30 plus 40 by 2 35 40 plus 50 by 2 45 then u i that is x i minus a divided by h u i is x i minus a divided by h then a is the assumed mean i have taken a as 25 we can take any value a yeah, as 25 then ui equal to first ui lo xi that is 5 minus assumed mean that 25 divided by class width is 10 that is difference between upper limit and lower limit is class width that is 20 to 30 difference 10 10 to 20 difference 10 that is equal to minus 20 divided by 10 that is minus 2 then fi for finding next ui value it is ui equal to xi minus a by h that is equal to xi is 15 minus assumed mean 25 by h that is minus 10 by 10 it is minus 1 and we are 0. Next xi value is xi minus a by h. xi is 35 minus assumed mean divided by class width. 10 by 10. 1. Next xi value 45 minus assumed mean by class width. That is 20 by 10. 2 step f i x bar equal to a plus sigma f i u i divided by sigma f i into h into h then for finding f i u i we have to multiply this f i and u i column that is 8 f i call the first value 8 8 ui call the first value negative 2 8 into f i ui call negative 2 that is negative 16 16 into negative 1 f i ui that is negative 16 36 into 0 0 34 into 1 34 6 into 2 12 then duping this negative 32 and 46 then for finding sigma f i u i sigma f i u i that is equal to two opposite signs 46 in 32 or equal 40 well then the sign 46 in the sign that is x bar equal to x bar equal to a assumed mean 25 plus sigma f i u i that is 14 divided by Sigma fi is 100. Sigma fi is 100. 100 into h. Class width is h. That is 25 plus 140 by 100. Is equal to 25 plus 1.40. That is equal to 26.40. Deviation method. Arithmetic mean. And once more. The previous problem we write the class interval and number of students fi then deviation method x bar equal to a plus sigma fi ui divided by sigma fi into h where ui equal to xi minus a divided by h x i minus u i equal to where u i equal to x i minus a divided by h h class width or class size 
ये असुम्ड मी ये असुम्ड मी देन फॉर राइटिंग एक्स आई वी फाइंड एक्स आई फॉर फाइंडिंग एक्स आई जीरो प्लस टेन डिवाइडेड बाय टू दैट इस टेन बाय टू फाइव ट्वेंटी प्लस टेन थर्टी बाय टू फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी प्लस थर्टी फिफ्टी बाय टू ट्वेंटी फाइव सेवेंटी बाय टू थर्टी फाइव नाइनटी बाय टू फोर्टी फाइव एंड वी गेट ए एक्स आई वैल्यू एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट यू आई दैट इज एक्स माइनस ए डिवाइडेड बाय एच एच इज द क्लास विथ नाउ आई टेक ऑन अस्यूम्ड मीन ए इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ए इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट इज यु ई फाइव माइनस ओर यु ई वैल्यू कंपिड़ा फस्ट एक्स वैल्यू एक्स माइनस ए बै एच दैट ईक्वल टू युआर फस्ट एक्स वैल्यू फाइव माइनस अस्यूमड मी ट्वेंटी फाइव डिवैड बै क्लास वि दैट माइनस ट्वेंटी बै टेन दैट नेगटीव टू Next, find next U I value. Here X I minus A divided by H. That's equal to here X I is fifteen. Fifteen minus A assumed me by H. Then X I minus X I fifteen. Fifteen minus A assumed me twenty five divided by class width. That's equal to minus ten by ten. That is. Negative one. Then zero value. Next x i value is thirty five x i value. Thirty five minus assumed mean twenty five divided by class width. It is ten divided by ten. That is what. Next year. Next year x i value is forty five. It is forty-five minus twenty. Assume to mean twenty-five divided by class width. That is twenty by ten. That is equal to two. Then, this is class interval zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to forty, and forty to fifty. Fi number of students. Question: We have given eight, sixteen, thirty-six, thirty-four, and six. Then x i for finding x i is zero plus ten by two twenty plus ten by two twenty plus thirty by by two thirty plus forty by two forty plus fifty by two. Then u then we have the formula deviation method. A plus arithmetic mean x bar equal to a plus sigma f i u i by sigma f i into x, where u i equal to x minus a by x. H is class size or class width. Class size. Fourth, finding class size difference between the upper limit and the lower limit. Thirty minus twenty, ten. Twenty minus ten, ten. H here H is equal to ten. Then X I values. Then you we find all U I's. U I U I equal to X I minus A by H equal to first X I value is five five minus twenty five by ten that's equal to minus twenty by ten equal to minus two. Next X I value is fifteen fifteen minus assumed mean divided by H equal to Minus ten by ten. That is minus one. Next zero. Next u i value x i minus a by h. That is thirty five minus assumed mean divided by class width. That is equal to ten by ten. One. Next finding next u i value. That is forty five on x i. Forty-five. Assume to mean a per in twenty-five. Na twenty-five by class width the same one. It is twenty by ten. Got to two. 
Next, F5 for finding sigma F5 ui, we calculate F5 ui. That is, multiply these two columns. F5, F5 ui. That is, F5 first, end no column, F5 8 into minus 2, minus 16. 16 into minus 1, minus 16, 0. Then 34 into 1, 34, 6 into 2, follow. Then for finding sigma fi ui, then group this negative, negative 32, negative 16 plus negative 16, negative 32, adding 2 and negative side. Then 34 plus 12, 46, then sigma fi ui equal to two opposite signs, minus is it? Larger number in the sign good qua. 14. Then sigma fi is total value of frequency 8 plus 16 plus 36 plus 34 plus 6 that is 100. Then here assumed mean a equal to 25. Then we find the value of arithmetic mean x bar and writing once more the formula x bar equal to a plus sigma f i u a plus sigma f i u i divided by sigma f i into h that is equal to a assumed mean plus sigma f i u i 14 divided by sigma f i total frequency into h a assumed mean 25 plus sigma fi ui number would have to 14 divided by sigma fi would frequency at a sum into h class width 10 that's equal to 25 plus 140 divided by 100 that's equal to 25 plus 1.40 that's equal to arithmetic mean is 26.40 26.40 Then for finding arithmetic mean for duped data you write the formulas Three methods in the formulas. Group the data. There are three methods. Arithmetic mean the group the data. There are three methods. First method. Arithmetic mean x bar equal to sigma fi xi by sigma fi. Two. X bar equal to Assumed mean method to the method on the direct method. Uh, by heart these formulas and each terms understand these terms. Second method x bar equal to a plus sigma fi di by sigma fi. Assumed mean method. Assumed mean method where a assumed mean. Assumed mean method where a assumed mean and di equal to xi minus a. In third formula for finding arithmetic mean am arithmetic mean x bar equal to a plus sigma f i u i divided by sigma f i into h where where u i equal to x i minus a divided by h H where A is the assumed mean 
and the h is the class size or class width sigma fi total frequency then you have to by heart these formulas three methods for arithmetic mean of grouped data direct method x bar equal to sigma fi xi by sigma fi second assumed mean method x bar equal to a plus sigma fi di by sigma fi where a is the assumed mean and di is xi minus a then third method deviation method third method and the parent on a deviation method deviation method x bar equal to a plus sigma fi ui by sigma fi into h where ui equal to xi minus a by h and h is the class size and a is the assumed mean and you have to by heart these formulas and understand each of the terms and accuracy of numbers is very very important in this calculation of statistics accuracy of numbers concentration deep concentration and thank you very much for watching my channel ee class ningalku ishtam aayengil like cheyuva share cheyuva subscribe cheyuva subscribe cheya marakalle comment box il ningalde abhiprayangalum nirdeshangalum idavunnana thank you